Hello everybody, this is Kitsu. Welcome back to Pokemon Blaze Black. Um, we are currently in Accumula Town, and there's just something I would like to show you guys after I turn up the volume, because I keep forgetting to do that. When you talk to these two in Accumula Town, in that building in the upper right, They will add a piano riff and a drum beat to Akimula's theme. There are a bunch of other people in the game who will do something similar, but those two are the main ones. Alright, now on to the actual point of this episode. Um, hold on, let me check my team quick. Yeah, I'm fine. Took a little bit of damage from N. Oh, hey. I don't remember what voice they used for the mom, so... I still get the running shoes. Alright. Yeah, I don't need the instructions. Okay, so she stashed them somewhere in my room and found them while she was cleaning my room. After Bianca destroyed it. Okay then. Anyways, um, I think... No. He's not a trainer? Okay. Um, before we get into any trainer battles, let's see what is available in the grass here. If something... Oh, okay. Something did show up. Caterpie. Hmm. I have my eyes on a different bug who isn't available at this exact point in time. So, I'm just gonna kill this. Um, Purloin and Trap are available on this route. I'm not entirely sure what their rarities are, but they are available. And. Yeah. Level. Yay! Attack! Worthless attack. Why do water types learn an attack that lowers the damage from a type that they already resist? Okay. Same goes for ground types and mud sport. Except that they're actually immune to the attack. Or two electric attacks, which is what Mudsport lowers. Okay. Apparently Game Freak didn't think that went over very well. Um... Oshawott evolves a little bit late, just so people know. Ooh, Patrat! Um, I'm actually going to try to catch her. Um... I... don't like the trap particularly, but... They are a good hacks mom. Of course I crit when I actually want to catch something. So much for that. Um... Purloin. Yeah, I warned you about Purloin in the last episode. Um, they suck. 
really, really good design. They're adorable. Their evolution is really cool looking, at least I think so. But the thing has no survivability at all. Crappy HP, crappy defenses, and it doesn't have the attack stats to make up for it. Just really, really doesn't. Um... Yeah. More Caterpies. Yeah, you know they're trap. I swear, the unofficial or anything not OI loves to give me females, and then OI throws males at me. All right. Let's use a Pokeball. Patrat is the Rattata of this gen. Shouldn't be too hard to catch. <laughs> Basically, they're prairie dogs. And they learn Super Fang, Hypnosis, those sorts of moves. Mm -hmm. Alright. New party member. Just to say that I've actually caught one before. Um, I wasn't looking at you, kid. Alright, we're at seven... Well, eight minutes. Hoot Hoot is available on this route. Um... I've always... had good luck with Hoot Hoot. I know people who their hoot hoot experience is that hoot hoot is horrible, sucks, and never should have come into existence. My experience with hoot hoot has always been a good one. It's always been able to hold its own, makes a good healing wall that you can throw up and have your other Pokemon healed while Hoot Hoot takes the beating. Just realized I forgot to check Luce's IVs. Um, I'm not sure how long I'm going to try to use Luce. Just, I want to be able to say that I own one. Uh, yeah. Alright, last time you guys saw N for the first time. wondering what did you guys think of him and no spoilers for black and white a few of my viewers haven't actually played the games and would appreciate not being spoiled 
Ooh! Hi! Meows! Catching! I love meow. And just as a testament to how devastating a IV of zero can be, at level 12, Oshawott should be able to outspeed pretty much anything at level 6 that isn't an electric type or naturally speedy. It's going after a level 6 Meowth. Come on, stay in the ball, stay in the ball. Good Meowth. And Nyarth is male Stephanie's name, for those of you who don't know. Wormple. Wormple would be good if you could tell what it was going to evolve into. Uh, but yeah, this episode is basically just us going to route to me showing you some of what's available, um, and just showing you what to expect. And on the next episode, we will battle our rival. Specifically, Bianca. Still don't like Bianca. I'm going to check. Ooh! That explains why you took so much damage from Water Gun. But the rest of your IVs aren't bad. The attack doesn't matter, you have Super Fang. Well, we'll have it. And... Ooh! That... There's some sort of irony in finding a mischievous mouth. Alright, let's look at these IVs. Meh, average. Speed's not bad. But yeah, so with two new party members, I've shown you guys Route Zero Two, and next time I will battle Bianca and get revenge for her humiliating me in episode two. This is Kitsu signing off. See you in a while.